What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video, I want to show you how to find out derivative of h of x. So h of x is x squared over x cubed plus 2 to the power of 2. What I need to do, I need to use chain rule differentiation, which means that if you want to find out derivative of, for example, y with respect to x, if y is a function of u and u is a function of x, we can write it in terms of dy over dx times du over dx. For example, if you have u to the power of n, the derivative is going to be n times u to the power of n minus 1 times u prime. If u is a function of x, for example. Or when you have sine u, it's going to be u prime times cosine u. That's how we do it. So let's go back to this question. We have x squared over x cubed plus 2 to the power of 2. So h prime x is going to be 2 times x squared over x cubed plus 2 times x squared over x cubed plus 2 prime. So it's going to be... Let's find out the derivative of this part. Here we need to use the quotient rule, which is u over v. Quotient rule is saying that it's going to be u prime v minus u v prime over v square. We need to follow the quotient rule for this one. So the derivative of x squared is 2x times denominator, which is x cubed plus 2, minus u, which is the x squared times derivative of the denominator which is going to be 3x squared divided by x cubed plus 2 to the power of 2 so that's going to be 2x times x cubed is going to be 2x to the power of 4 plus 4x minus 3x to the power of 4 divided by x cubed plus 2 to the power of 2 when you simplify it is going to be negative x to the power of 4 plus 4x over x cubed plus 2 to the power of 2. So this expression is going to be the derivative of this part. So when you write the whole thing, it's going to be 2 times x squared over x cubed plus 2 times 4x minus x to the power of 4 divided by x cubed plus 2 to the power of 2. So it's going to be 2x let's say cube times 4 minus x cube i factored x here that's why x squared becomes x cube divided by x cube plus 2 to the power of 3 so that's going to be the final answer to this question i hope you enjoyed this video please leave me a comment if you have any question please don't forget to subscribe to this channel you can have access to many other videos regarding differentiation integration and other topics in calculus physics and chemistry i will leave some related videos and playlists in the description in case you need extra practice question thank you for watching and have a great day